Welcome to the Equinity Podcast, where horse owners just like you share their incredible Equinity stories and how Equinity is changing their horses' lives. Whether you're searching for something to give your performance horse better focus, faster recovery, and more stamina, or in the extreme case where all hope seems lost, give your horse what it needs to help heal at a cellular level, you'll find it here. So jump in on today's episode to hear how Equinity is helping horses worldwide. Now, welcome your host, John Dowdy. Hello and welcome to this week's Equinity Podcast. We are swinging out into Northern California. We've got Elena Flaherty on the call this week. Elena, welcome to the Equinity Podcast. I am so excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Well, it's always a pleasure. And uh, a little bit of your background, you are a USDF gold medal dressage trainer. So you have been around horses for quite a while and have seen a lot of things, I'm sure. I sure have. I actually started riding uh, in Colorado as a kid at seven years old, and I have been through Pony Club. I was an eventer. I've been doing straight dressage for the last 10 years and have taken one horse to Grand Prix, and I have another one on the way. That's great. Well, I, I believe the way that we connected was through Facebook, which is uh, a lot of the, the ways that we uh, find these stories and things. And, and you had talked uh, specifically about a young course did you have a six-year-old that was dealing with a lot of things uh, you know 18 months worth of diagnostic things and kind of some mystery lameness type things uh, let's get into that and exactly what that was and maybe those that are tuning in which is kind of the, the point of this podcast is uh, you know those that might be going through similar situations can say hey that's what my horse is going through or something similar and so let's talk about what you were dealing with uh, with this particular horse and uh, how you came across the Equinity product and, and how this horse is doing now. Okay. So um, I had kind of off and on soundness issues with him. Um, he just turned seven this year. And I would say probably from age five to maybe the beginning of last year. So the beginning of his six-year-old year, he was pretty much off and on lame. And the, multitude of diagnostics showed nothing that we could pinpoint thousands of dollars later back neck uh, ultrasound x-rays you know things like that um the only thing we could find that we weren't even sure about was that he had fetlock um, bone chips so my vet said you know if this is causing maybe the problem let's go ahead and remove them so we did and he starts to go back into work and he's feeling okay and then six months down the road he's off and on lame again so we go back up to the vet and the vet says you know I just don't think it's anything that we can actually diagnose why don't you just give him like six months off to grow he was pretty large at that point he was 16 three at that age so I, I brought him home and I just kind of chewed on that a little bit and I thought you know I'm not so sure that I want to actually give this horse time off because he's large. I'd like him to move, keep the joints moving. So I just did a little bit of research on nutrition, um, stabling, and I actually thought maybe I should just keep working him, but not under saddles, just lunging him. Uh, I put him in a bigger corral. And then I called a bunch of my friends and I said, have you ever had this problem? And they all pointed me to the nutrition. So I pulled Clayton off everything except for orchard hay. And then I went back and I did research about what a growing young horse needs. And I kind of stumbled upon the equinity and it, it basically targets their body to help them help themselves heal. So I thought, you know, what the heck? I've spent so much money at this point. Why not just try it? And he's been on it for the last at the end of 2019 is when I put him on it so he's been on it for the last year and a half or so he's in full work he actually just won high point last weekend of his competition nice and yeah and so I've been really really happy he's been knock on wood sound every time my coach comes she tells me how great he looks that he's just looking better and better and what you know what I really noticed about it's like an overall um, product because it's not just like hoof or whatever. So it, what I love about it is his coat looks great. His weight looks great. He's got dapples. He feels great. His focus is good. He eats, he drinks. I don't have any issues with that kind of stuff. 
and he's like going in the trailer, he's being grown up, he's doing his job. And I just, I give him two scoops because he's a big boy and I just don't ever want to go back to that place that we were before. (laughs) So I'm happy to just keep him on it forever. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Now listening to that story, and there might be some out there that are listening and the thought could come across their mind. Well, say you didn't give the Quinity horse XL and you just let the horse, you know, go through the same phase or, you know, the same time frame. What are your thoughts um, being right there with the horse? Do you, did the Quinity horse XL just speed everything up? Did it help him get to the point? Cause you, you know, you had mentioned that you were looking for the nutritional aspect, but what are your thoughts uh, giving the product versus if you would have not given the product and, had the same time frame over those 18 months? You know, honestly, I don't, I was just telling my mom, she's really involved in the horse stuff with me. I was just telling my mom the other day, I just looked back at that time and think we didn't even know if he was going to be able to be ridden. I mean, it was not like a really bad lameness, but he was not sound. And just having, watching the, the body change, excuse me, the soundness change with the product. I mean, within 90 days, I saw a huge improvement in his mm-hmm. body and actually his feet too, because he was really flat footed and had issues with one foot and not the other. And, you know, so who knows what he was compensating with. His feet look great. He's been knock on wood sound. I do think that you can see a big change in their body with that product. It's amazing. Yeah. Truly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, for those tuning in, maybe you're looking for a product um, just that's going to help your horse in whatever ways that you need help with. And, you know, with so many products on the market, we we don't really compare ourselves to any other products on the market because ours is so unique. Uh, Because it doesn't fall into the category of a hoof supplement, a joint supplement, a muscle building supplement, a recovery supplement, you know, it doesn't fall into any of those categories. What it does, it's 100% pure amino acids. Uh, there's no fillers, there's no sugars, no starches, and there's no loading dose. The serving size is 5.2 grams, which is about like a teaspoon, whether it's a mini pony or a draft horse and anything in between. Because what the amino acids are doing specifically is targeting the pituitary gland, which is the gland that releases all the hormones in the body. And once that happens, which by the way, happens within hours of, of giving them a scoop, And then the body can decide where to send its own hormones and sends those uh, hormones to its own problem areas. And this is why it helps in so many ways. And so you kind of put it, uh, you know, we're helping the horse to help itself, which is absolutely uh, true. Um, So if you had 50 horses with 50 different things going on, in essence, it's going to customize to each horse because, again, we're allowing the body to help repair itself from the inside out. And when you get into all the things like you were just talking about, you know, flat uh, heels and, you know, all these different body composition, all this stuff, probably one of the best descriptions we hear a lot is um, just helping to balance the horse from the inside out. And as I mentioned with it working in hours, you, you know, going into work within hours, we've had a lot of people that have had uh, horses that have a lot of stress and anxiety that have had complete demeanor changes in as little as two or three days for the working performance horse, uh, fast recovery, better stamina, more focus. They're just more comfortable under saddle within a week to two weeks. And you get into the 30 day mark, which is the vast majority of people do see changes, whether it be kind of filling out in the hips or top line, they uh, have a super shiny and soft coat and you'll even start noticing a little bit better hoof growth at that point and and thicker soles. And so with, uh, you know, your particular store, you go out 90 days and it is like dramatic, dramatic. And this is one of the reasons why we also encourage people to take before and after pictures and even within 30 days, because, you know, when you're around your horse every single day, you don't notice a lot of little small changes, but when you can snap a a photo, it's, uh, it's pretty huge, you know, from the, Uh, physical changes. Oh yeah, absolutely. I actually um, might have a before and after I posted one actually on social media of him from the show. And I can't believe how many people said to me, his body looks fantastic. Um, Because he struggles a little bit with putting on weight on his um, hind end, like over his loin and in that hunter bump area. 
And I mean, it's completely filled out. The last time the chiropractor came, she's like, he looks like a different horse. His top line looks phenomenal. His weight looks great. It's just an amazing product for overall everything. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, after you saw the results on this six-year-old and the recovery and just the body composition and everything else, then you decided, hey, let's try this on my FEI horse, uh, Charlie. And so tell us about that. Yeah, actually, he had had an interesting injury. We're not really sure what he did, but he did something in turnout that tweaked his SI. And of course, he picked the right year to do it. He did it last year, the beginning of last year, the crazy 2020 year. <laughs> and he went to um, go do walk on the treadmill for rehab. And I just thought, you know, it's worked so well for Clayton. Why don't I just put him on the equinity too? I mean, he needs it. He works, he works harder than Clayton does. He's rehabbing. I want to help him get through this and hopefully never deal with this again. So he's on one scoop a day now and he's, doing Cray St. George. We're schooling um, I1, I2, and he looks fantastic. And what I um, was just talking to my vet about was, you know, we were talking about how Charlie's doing. She checked in with me a lot and she said, you know, he hasn't had injections in almost a year and a half at the top. And I just thought, I wonder if that's because his body's doing what it should be doing because of the supplement. Yeah, you know, we hear that a lot with uh, horses that are regularly injected. You know, obviously, we're talking in the performance world, whether it be on the English side or over on the Western side. And one of the most common things that we hear is the regularly injected horses, when they start taking the Equinity Horse XL, don't uh, have to be injected as often and sometimes not at all. You know, it all just depends on the severity of what's going on. But uh, that is something we definitely hear a lot. Yeah, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. And on top of all of that, you know, having an FBI horse, they have to have such stamina for a two or three day show. And he's the kind of horse that has to be worked hard to stay focused. So I was getting to that second or third day before the equinity and he would just be he would just be flat. And he would start misbehaving a little bit, like it was just too much work. His stamina wasn't good. His recovery of his muscles wasn't good. I tried other products. Nothing was really doing what it said it was going to be doing. I have to say, this last show, he was on his game all three days, and it was 95 degrees every single day. So I am super, super happy about that. Yeah, just with the overall recovery and the stamina and, and uh, yeah, especially getting into the three-day on the, on the third day, you're like, hang in there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> especially the beginning of summer when they're like, whoa, where does this heat come from? Yeah. And he can struggle a little bit with that. So, And he was even drinking more than he normally does. He's been eating really well. His weight has been staying pretty steady. So I definitely, that's the only thing I've changed in his diet over the last two years that I can attribute that too. Yeah, that's great. Well, and and before we jumped on the, the call, you and I were talking, um, I was giving you more information on our the second product that we have, which I'll give everybody a little insight on that. It's called the Quinity Ultimate OEC. And we brought that out uh, last March, after spending about a year doing research and development and field trials with Dr. Bruggen, uh, who brought it to us uh, a couple years ago. And We had been on the market at the time six years with the uh, Equinity Horse XL, the amino acids, which is a lot of our ads and all the uh, testimonials and things are pretty well based around that. And the reason why we came out with the Ultimate OEC was twofold. One, it's to work in combination with the amino acids to give those repaired cells some nutrition, which helps them operate at optimal levels. And secondly, it's a really powerful antioxidant, which helps reduce inflammation and what it is specifically, it, it comes in a half gallon because there's no fillers in it, but it's a uh, high quality flaxseed based omega-3 oil. It's got a thousand IUs of natural cold pressed vitamin E and colloidal silver all in one. And it's not that the ingredients themselves are unique because there's companies out there that have one or two mixed into one um, or one mixed in with some other things, but to my knowledge, this is the, f- the first product that has all three mixed into one. But we brought it out specifically. We, again, we wanted a high-quality product. Um, and using these two products together uh, seems to just be uh, 
you know, like the ultimate supplement combination from all the feedback that we're getting. So we're pretty excited about that and, um, you know, starting to get a lot of feedback rolling in. Uh, some of the feedback, just to give you an idea, the horses do phenomenal on the amino acids and we recommend every horse be on the amino acids because again, it's giving the body what it needs to help repair at the cellular level. Now there's been some horses that were, um, you know, they still kind of have like a cough. And I know you had mentioned to me that, uh, uh, Charlie kind of has a, a bit of a cough. And, uh, so you're going to try some of the, the OEC and see if that, uh, gets rid of that, which we have f- had quite a bit of feedback with that. Um, the horses are on the horse Excel and they doing great, but they have this little cough and then they added the ultimate OEC, and that got rid of the cough for whatever reason. And then, oh, that's awesome. Yep, yep. And then um, there's been horses that were, you know, doing great on the horse Excel, but maybe they were still tying up or maybe they didn't want to drink when they're on the road. And they added the o- ultimate OEC and that kind of fixed the problem. So it's a very, very interesting combination. And um, so if you're tuning in and you've just been using the horse Excel, would highly encourage you to try adding the ultimate OEC to it and see how that works for you. So it's, it's uh, pretty darn exciting with uh, what we've got going on out here. And it's also one of the reasons why we, we started this podcast. We've got over a hundred of these podcasts on our website and there were so many people that were calling in or emailing and saying, Hey, let me tell you what this product did for my horse. And so many times my jaw would be on the table going, I can't believe what I'm hearing. And it's, really unfortunate that I'm the only one hearing this story outside of, you know, your circle. And so I thought, well, this would be a great format to help get these stories out. So here we are over a hundred podcasts later. So we definitely appreciate uh, you taking the time to share your stories here. And um, I know it's going to benefit a lot of other folks out there. Well, I can't thank you enough for such a great product because honestly, I was looking at this horse that I had bred that I'd pulled out of his mom years ago and thought, what am I going to do with a gelding pasture ornament? (laughs) And, you know, so truly I give you 100% credit to help me in helping me get him going and where he wants to be because he loves to work. And so it's, it's, it's mutual. We thank you very much for that. Um, Ironically enough or not, I guess the universe verse works in mysterious ways. I just got a message as we're on the phone from a friend that asked me about Equinity. Ah, how <laughs> funny is that? <laughs> yeah. She's like, I know you were just telling me about it this weekend. One of my horses is having an injury that we can't diagnose. Can you tell me more about it? Do you think it would be a great option for us? <laughs> yes. Listen to this podcast. <laughs> and I just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, you know, I tell people all the time that, uh, you know, that our products aren't miracle supplements, but they can sure do some miraculous things. And, you know, when used in combination with your farrier and vet and, you know, it's like a team effort. And so uh, specifically, I tell people, you know, if if they've got uh, the world's best farrier standing in front of their horse, but there's no hoof, hoof to work with, you know, what are they supposed to do? It's everybody's just kind of stuck. And so specifically with that issue, when you add the horse excel, you know, that hoof is going to start growing. It's healthier, stronger, and it gives the farrier more to work with in a shorter amount of time. And when you're dealing with injured horses, it helps get everything back to where you want them to be faster. So um, it's just always important, you know, working with a good vet and farrier and, you know, the, the nutrition is so important and really being in tune with your horse. And, you know, these products are just, it helps you get to where you want to go in a shorter time frame. So it's, um, we're definitely blessed in that way. So, well, if there's uh, anybody tuning into this call and they're thinking, boy, that sounds really good, but I don't know, maybe they're still sitting on the fence a little bit. Is there anything you'd have to say to them other than what you've already talked about that uh, might get them off the fence to give it a try? Don't sit on the fence. Just do it. (laughs) (laughs) I am so glad I did it. I, I actually have it, um, on Amazon, just on subscribe. So it just sends me one every it's one every month for me since I have two horses on it Yeah, that you can pick like every other month or whatever. I hopefully will never have to deal with not having my horses on this because it is incredible. And I actually have a young two-year-old that will be going on it as well. Yeah, that is great. Well, uh, I really appreciate uh, you taking the time to, to share your stories here on the Equinity Podcast. Elena Flaherty out of California. Thank you so much for taking the time here on the Equinity Podcast. 
Thank you so much for having me. Great product. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. That's all for this episode of the Equinity Podcast. For more information on purchasing Equinity, be sure to visit our website at teamequinity.com, where you'll also find product information as well as more testimonials on how others have seen amazing results by implementing Equinity into their horse's supplement regime. We'll have more stories on how Equinity is helping horses worldwide right here on a future episode of the Equinity Podcast.